Hey everyone, hope you're well. It's been ages since I've made a Minecraft video, so apologies for that. Um, I still haven't actually finalised my skin, but um, I'm not going to take any more submissions now. Um, I'm going to use a couple of the ones that I've now received. I'm currently wearing like this dinosaur suit thing. Um, just for the time being, for recent public appearances, as I haven't decided on my exact skin just yet. Um, so, I had a look at last episode and realised I have, um, like I've explained before, I, have, I do play occasionally, and then when I make a video I just show you the most recent updates. So I have done a few things in the last two weeks, although obviously I've been playing quite a lot of Isaac, and um, when I'm not making Minecraft daily and doing real life stuff. But I have managed to do a few things. And the reason we're starting over here. Rather than over at the skeleton spawner. Which we should be able to see out the window. Just about. See it over there in the distance. Um, got torches in the way. Actually let's go back up, back up for a second. For those of you not familiar with this. Because you might have just joined. You might have just subscribed within the last two weeks. I mean, it's a pretty long time. You might not have seen this world at all. So that's the uh, the um, over overground bit of the skeleton spawner where the skeletons come up and go and drop. So it's all the way over there. And the reason we're starting in this space today is because I've actually added in a little feature. We just come down the stairs, but we're not going to go all the way. We've actually got a doorway off. It's starting to turn into a into a system of, you know, a bigger base, a multiplex or whatever you want to call it. So there's a little corridor here. And so you might have guessed what it is. There's a slightly bigger tunnel here. I might put a minecart in. And um, you see I've replaced a lot of earth with cobble just because I was being OCD. So this took a little while, as you can imagine. And we're over in the skeleton spawner base. So it's all connected now, which is really cool. So we can slowly, anything else I build, I will make an effort to build it between this base and that base now. So that, um, so, so that we don't have lots of modules spaced out by big long tunnels um it'll be quite a big base but it will all be relatively close together so hopefully that'll be the longest journey from one end to another so that is not too big and sprawling so updates since last time um i had to check back on the video because i couldn't remember what i had done and what i hadn't i felt like i hadn't done a lot and i keep on putting off the video but actually i've been putting it off so long there's quite a few little things i've done that I simply forgot about, but they've added up. So that tunnel being a very obvious big addition, a bit more storage so that my infantry isn't cluttered like last time. Those are comments from trolls calling me a noob. Um, you see, this isn't a block of earth anymore. It's a piston to turn the thing on and off. <gasps> oh dear, I'm cheating. Sorry, one moment. I'll turn this back onto hard. It's meant to be hard all the time. Luckily, it shouldn't have made any difference because I was just inside anyway. But um, whenever we're actually doing something, it's meant to be hard in this in this world. The reason it was turned to peaceful is because I'm trying to get on with some of my secret projects again. So, now we've turned it to hard, we can see the skeleton's coming out. See you in a minute, skeleton. Oh, is that one stuck? No, it's not. Someone said... Um, the squid spawned last time because it's a because of the piece of earth so I don't know if that's correct or not I don't think it is I think they can just spawn anywhere but we'll see I haven't had one since I think it's just very bad luck yes yeah, so an occasional one I think we can deal with it so um, as for this spawner you might have remembered last time it was here and it was working but I said that having seen another video, I was wondering if it was now too close, because it was too far away, and then it was too close, um, or it was further away, whoops, didn't mean to do that, and, um, and then moved it up, but then 
is close enough for skeletons to spawn, for the spawner to see we're here. But then with the skeletons landing, they meant there's a group of skeletons um, within the space of the spawner. So as well as seeing where we are, it sees how many skeletons are already in the area. And if there's like six, then it stops spawning because it doesn't want to be too overpowered. So um, because they were landing too close, it was stopping spawning. And we're getting about nine because the ones that are still in the system passing overhead were out of range. But once they'd landed, it was over six and it stopped spawning. Now it's a bit further away. We're close enough to the spawner for it to keep on spawning skeletons. And but the skeletons themselves are landing far away enough for it for the spawner not to count them. So it just keeps on spawning them out. So this builds up a lot. One good thing by the fact I had it on peaceful is that obviously this is now a fresh batch. So any skeletons landing here have been spawned within the time since I since you saw me change the difficulty. So you'll see how they build up quite quickly. I did a few bookshelves here. I haven't got a lot of wood on us, but you saw the tree in the entrance. There's a move the uh, reed farm back here behind the spawner room because it was to the sides just a little bit. And so since I moved it and I, I just dug out a little bit more of a room back here, put them back there. Not a huge reed farm, obviously, but it's enough. This is still the same, as you can see. So on the subject of farms, I might start um, spacing them out more because I kind of had, um, I've kind of got both in both bases. So I might leave it as it is, but as it's all connected now, I might just have designated farms in each area. So you can see this is starting to build up quite a lot. It's pushing us back. Might just leave that for a minute actually. So I was thinking as we've got wheat over here and we've got loads of bread, I might turn the area up in the other base. Oh yeah, this door. I'll say in a minute. The area up in the other base where there's a little wheat farm outside, I might get rid of that and turn that into a sheep area. So I was thinking what might be a nice idea is to have a sheep with every colour just so we've got a supply of wool in any colour we want, just for fun. And I still intend on making this map available for download for some point, so you guys can play around with it. So I think my first aim is to have a good supply of everything, so that you guys can just boot up the map and make random stuff with it without going into creative mode. So take out so there's quite a lot of them there so you can see that's very um, very efficient now it's got countless um, we got 64 arrows there countless skeletons keep on dropping down while we're while we're here so, is there anything in there? Some iron. Let's put that in storage. So, um, we've got lots of bows on us, but just ignore that. Um, the door I've... Get my sword out just in case. The door I've put buttons on, as suggested. Um, as the other funny thing was that... Um, someone was saying I'm a noob, and someone was... Um, to be fair, defending me, so thanks, but saying, um, he's not bad at the game, he's just new. And it's like, I'm not actually new to the game either. Obviously, I've done like over 200 episodes of Minecraft daily. Um, that's not, you know, I've been playing it for nearly a year at least. Um, so, and I've been following it for a lot longer because I followed Minecraft for a long time before I got a new computer to play it um, and make videos of it. So, um, pop over back over to this base. 
So I want to turn this area, as I was saying, into... Oh, what I was going to say about that door is so I've put buttons on. Because um, that's what I was asking about, which probably made me look like a complete noob. But the thing is, I've never really used metal doors at all. Um, I've always just used wooden ones, but it's just using metal doors now because of the new zombie situation with the knocking down of the doors and stuff. So I'm thinking I might get rid of this wheat, maybe expand this area a bit, and have lots of sheep in different colours. Might want to put them somewhere else, so I don't know. Maybe if I keep the wheat and just expand down the hill and have more sheep. But before I think about where where to put the sheep and going out and gathering the sheep and bring them back with some wheat, I need to have all the dyes available. Which I don't. So I've got... Well, I've got red. Um, we can make... I guess maybe we should make them up in the box somewhere. But yeah, bone meal can make pink, so that's sorted. The main thing I'm thinking about, though, is green. Oh, we've even got cocoa beans, actually. But yeah, so we need um, we need cactus for one of the green dyes, which means we are going to go have to go out and adventure beyond the snow biome. So I'm thinking one fun thing to do might be to go out to sea as I don't know how far the snow biome stretches out land wise and it's safer to travel by sea although not as exciting so I was thinking just over the other side of that hill um, I should make a little hut because you see the ice breaks there so it goes into an ocean biome or it might just be a other type of biome and there might be some land very close so um, if I make like a little hut there, because we could run down and then hop in a boat and get sailing, but then that takes a couple of moments to do that. If we have a hut there with a little bed where we can wake up and set sail immediately as soon as the sun's up, then um, it might be a lot more effective. So we need a bunch of wood and... Um, do I have some? I do have some saplings on me, actually. Um, we need a bunch of wood. And what's it doing? I want half of those. Is it because the chest is open? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, bunch of wood. And we've got lots of wool, haven't we? So, in fact, we could get rid of that grey wool. Because it's just three is what we need, and that was taking up some, taking up some room. So we got some wood actually for the bed. So we've got bed there. Let's see how we're doing for time. Thirteen minutes so far. Should I do a long one today? I think I'll make a long episode for once. So um, make a bunch of bone meal. That's what I want. And knock down some trees. So I don't think I've got an axe, though. Must have used the last one up. So we'll just do it out here, shall we, quick? So I'm thinking if we make a little hut that's like... 3 by 2 inside, then that's 2 walls of 3, and 2 of 2, so that's 10 around, I think. So we can then do, we want 2 high, that would be 20, and a roof, that would be like 6. So 26 maybe, I think is like the minimum I want. Um, which in 26 divided by 4 would be uh, 13, 6 and a half. So um, I think we definitely got more than 6 planks, uh, 
logs, haven't we? So if we have, that means, yeah. And those specifications were for absolute minimum. So um, I was just thinking out loud. Um, sorry if it's not entirely clear what I was thinking, but I'll demonstrate in a minute. Um, I think this is all... I think I've got all the logs out of that. So um, I'll we'll convert this into wood so I have a decent amount of wood there. And I will want wood for a boat as well, but I think we'll have enough because we've got more than enough by the calculations I just did in my mind. Um, we'll keep some of this stuff actually. Um, got more bows than we need. We'll keep the power one though and the one we've started to wear down. Um, bone mill would be useful. Oh, we've got cobble as well. Just wood looks nicer though, doesn't it? Um, and it would be nice to have the hoe and the wheat. We could always start a wheat farm by a base. So if we start a base over the water, then we might want to start a farm because it won't be connected. But really, our main mission is to get cactus. I mean, I want to build up this central base as much as possible. I don't really want to be um, having too many bases in different places just yet. So I think this sword has smite as well. Yeah, smite 2 and fire aspect 1. So smite, I think that's like undead. So skeletons and zombies take extra damage as well as fire damage, as well as it being daytime. So it's a bit, bit OP. That makes it fun. That one's burnt in the sunlight. Not sure what it was. Um, so we want to go over to the water. Where'd that spider go? Or maybe that spider's not going to give us any grief anyway, because it's daytime. What's hissing though? I don't know. So unfortunately, this hut is not going to be between our what's going to be a tower and our skeleton spawner where I want the most of the base to be but at least it will be nearby I'll try and make it as nearby as possible let's grab that egg so we could still have like a fast route minecart track to it or something from the tower down the hill and then over here so I think kind of here is the closest point. We could even build a hut on the ice, but um, I'm not sure. I can't quite decide. Maybe it'd be nice to have it visible from the tower, though, as well. So maybe... Oh, look, I think that earth over there touches the ice. So we could build it on ground, but right by the water. And it's more of a straight line from the base. So I think this might be a good spot. It looks quite nice. It's quite flat as well, means we can see see stuff see stuff coming. Got a nice little beach area. Oh, it looks funky over there, doesn't it? Um yeah, we can see our base. So so we put on this spot here. Um, oh, I think I've got tons of earth, haven't I? Yeah, forgot about that. That's from the uh, digging that tunnel. So let's flatten it out a bit. Let's see what we got. So what I was visualising was three by two. So there's enough space here for that. In fact, three by two is very small, but. You can always make this a bit bigger later. This is literally just a hut. For um, literally just a hut to sleep in quick before sailing out. Um, we'll want an archway over the door anyway, otherwise it looks really weird. Even though I am being cheap as possible. I don't want it to look completely cheap. Do I have? I don't think I've got any coal on me. So um, we'll be very fancy in a minute and have a glowstone lamp, I think. 
So I'll make a stick for that, a fence post rather. I'll need um I'll need a couple of sticks for a fence post. Yep. There we go. Um leave those on the floor for a moment. Put that there. Of a raised entrance, I'm not sure. That looks too good. Um oh now what? <laughs> Um, oh, we're gonna have to deal with a bit of a drop. Haven't we really thought that through? And oh, we've got our bed already, haven't we? So we have our bed. It's not gonna let us about like this. Oh, it won't let us jump, it won't let us put the bed down, it'll let us put it down there. I don't want to put it down there though. We're gonna have to move this wood. I think it's quicker with a pickaxe. Yeah, it's, it's enchanted pickaxe as well. Go. I really want to put that. Will it not let me put it there? Is it because of the snow? Is that why? Oh, it's because of the snow. Oh, okay. Um, so we don't actually have enough wood for the boat as well. So we'll do. I didn't bring the um, saplings with me. Lucky, luckily, we grabbed one. And fell into my hand on the way out. That was lucky. Oh, is this a is this a big tree? Oh, it's. I think our wooden hut has confused it. Let's grab those. Um. Okay, so we're almost done. We'll just make a boat and then I think I'll call it a day for this episode. Or maybe we'll go sailing a little bit, shall we? See if we can spot some land and then I'll leave it there. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's take the stump. Let's eat some food in a second as well. Starting to look a bit hungry. Got some bread there. Shall we use up the meat though? I think maybe we should. And we can always make a um we can always make a chest in here as well. That's another thing. We're a bit crowded, right? So, just make as many boats as possible, maybe, as it's boating boathouse. Can also make one of those fancy. Um, oh, I was about to say a fancy boat dispenser. I just remembered in the latest. I guess it's the latest snapshot, though, isn't it? Um, it's not actually in the game yet. Dispensers will now spit out boats. Which is going to be very useful. So, um, maybe I should take a boat with me. And we'll leave. Well, we'll leave the dirt. We don't need that, do we? We'll take the bone mill with us, but we'll leave the dirt. And we can make a few more boats. Okay. So, um, but actually, ideally, we want to go to sleep and then go out sailing at the break of dawn so that we have more daylight and we can hopefully find another shore before oh there's some squids swimming we can find another shore while it's still daylight maybe i should make a map as well so that we need a compass we might have to pop back over to base oh we need a lamp in here i've used up all the room we just have to stick it in the ceiling i'm not going to do a fancy one with a with a um, fence post after all just yet. We'll just have a ceiling light. Um, so we'll need it to be night time before we can go sailing. Um, maybe I should go back and make a map. So I'll do that off camera. 
So I will see you all later.